Nothing will save you more time in Excel than learning the shortcut keys. But actually, you don't need to learn any shortcut keys because there are four Excel shortcut systems. And the first three I'm going to talk about now don't require you to remember anything. So let's go. I'm John, qualified accountant with 25 years of real world Excel experience. And if you want to save time in Excel, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon. So what are these four shortcut systems then? So the first one is the ribbon. Now, uh, normally, you know, don't go reaching for that mouse and hitting up on that ribbon to do access all the commands. All you need to do is hit the Alt key and it will light up with all the shortcut keys laid out in front of you. So let me show you how. I've got a whole load of data here, for example, and if I hit Alt, you'll see across the top here, all these menus have got a letter next to them. And if I hit that letter, so say I hit Home, for example, H, all the buttons now have shortcut keys attached to them. And even sort of the drop downs do as well, like for example, you know, F, N, if I, you know, will be, is the equivalent of like hitting on there and getting into this menu. So, you know, what might be the reason that you'd use these shortcut keys versus your traditional kind of control this, shift that, et cetera? Well, Quite often, there's not a simple shortcut key to do some very common things in Excel. And one particular good example is sorting. So, you know, on the data menu, so again, Alt and A would be the data menu, you'll see that sort the sort function is double S, but actually sort ascending and descending is SA and SD. And the great thing about this particular shortcut key sequence is that a, which is the data menu, and SA and SD are all right next to each other on the keyboard. So if I hit escape twice to get back out of that, Alt ASA, for example, will sort the current column um, straight away in alphabetical order, and Alt ASD will sort it in reverse order. But that's just you know one example. The beauty of this system is that you can learn it gradually over time. You don't need to actually remember anything because as soon as you hit that Alt key, like I say, the letters are lit up. You know, there you go. Like another good example, Alt H, right? And then Format, if I want to change the row, the column width, it's O and then W, you can see underline there, W width, and you're straight into a column width thing where I could put, say, for example, 10. Just that for the sake of argument here, I'll change all these column widths to like uh, 10 for the moment. So if I highlight kind of everything here, that was control A, just in case. Uh, Alt, H, O, I, auto fit, everything. And these are ones that I just happen to have memorized because I use them all the time. But I would suggest, you know, you find your own particular favorites and go through them I, and just learn them gradually. Because like I say, you're getting talked through them. Another one I love, decimal places. Alt H, you can see that zero is increase decimal places and nine is reduce them. And the way I kind of remember this one in particular is that zero is like adding zeros. So as you can see, yeah, Alt H zero, hopefully you can see on, um, on there that that is increasing the number of decimal places. And Alt H nine, reducing them. There you go, that is the first shortcut system, the ribbon accessed via Alt, and then all the letters that it tells you to do. Excel shortcut system number two, the right click menu, but accessed from the keyboard. How do you do this? Well, on your keyboard, on the bottom row, to the right hand side of the space bar, there should be a key, which is sort of several vertical lines, sometimes in a box. Um, mine in particular is like three vertical lines inside a box, but it might be four, might not be in a box. And when you hit that, it brings up the right click menu. For example, I'll go into, into here and I'll look at, when I hit that key, 
up comes my right click menu. And I can use the arrow keys to move up and down, up and down this, so the up and down arrow. And where there's a little arrow to the right, for example, on here, if I hit the right arrow key, that will get onto that menu. So, you know, you could just use the arrow keys, but actually, much faster than that would be the underlined letters. So you can see the menu I'm on at the moment, the capital I there is underlined. And on the one below, the delete menu, the D is underlined. So if I hit D, it will go straight into that menu. And then you'll see we have a C to delete the table column or R to delete the table row. So if I wanted to delete the row, there it is. All right, I'm just going to undo that with Control Z. So just doing that quickly would be, you know, or not so quickly really, but this one goes into that menu, D, R. So delete the row, you know. This is deleting several rows at a time. So that's how you use that menu. You click on that and you've got full access to everything that you could get to through the right click menu. One, my personal favorite then for this is filter on current cells value. So I don't even have filters on the top of this column, but if I hit this, to bring up, so I bring up the menu, hit E for filter, hit V for on current cells value, and there I go. Straight away, I'm into all of the pen and art supplies things. And if I do the same, but very quickly there, for example, I've just, gone straight for all the highlighters, a couple of quick clicks. That would have taken a very long time to do by you know, adding the filter buttons and manually filtering to those different things. And if combine that with one of the ribbon shortcuts to remove filters, Alt, A, and then C for clear filters. So these things can quite often be used to combine, but it's yet another shortcut system this right click menu where you don't need to actually remember anything other than the button that brings up the menu. Because once you've got that menu, you can look at it and you can see, you know, what's going to work because it's the, the letters are underlined. The third shortcut system in Excel that I want to tell you about is the quick access toolbar. And why is it a shortcut system? Because the first nine things you put on this can be accessed with just by the number keys, Alt and then that number key. So going back into Excel, when I hit Alt, you'll see right at the top here, I've got my quick access toolbar items highlighting numbers one to nine. And number one, I've got a zoom in, for example, and Alt two, zoom back out. So that is, you know, I set that up for my live coaching program and, you know, it's really handy when you're teaching live, zoom in and zoom out. Really, really kind of useful to do quickly. But what's particularly useful about the quick access toolbar is that you can put commands on it that you can't normally access on the ribbon. And zooming in and out if you want to do that normally, you definitely have to use the mouse because you have to go all the way to the bottom right hand corner and you you know click on your sort of pluses and minuses and you, you definitely need a mouse to do that. So having it on the quick access toolbar, it's the very reason I've got it on there, is very, very useful. But there's plenty of others. How do you get to this stuff? Well, assuming that you haven't got the quick access toolbar at all at the moment, it's accessed from the options menu. So you click on options, and down on the left-hand side there, quick access toolbar. So you click on that. And essentially, it's, uh, you can add and remove anything you like. Uh, so you click on something like, like that, you can remove it, or you can pick on anything you want and add it. And as long as you, I would suggest, you know, keep to the first nine as really popular things. I've got a bit of random stuff on here at the moment because I've been playing about but one of the things you can do on this drop down menu here is you can actually select commands not in the ribbon. And there's literally hundreds of them if you look. And any of these you can't get to from the ribbon. So they're prime candidates for putting onto that quick access toolbar and then getting to them with Alt 
and a single number. And one of the beauties of this quick access toolbar is if you put something on it, um, like for example, I've got here a new file on there. And if I just OK that, when I hover over that, you can see in brackets it says Control N. And that's the actual um, traditional shortcut key for that, you know, for that command. So that tells me straight away that's a, probably a bit of a waste of real estate now because I've actually put in Alt and then 8 for new sheet, right, or new book, whereas actually Control N is probably just as quick to do to get that back. So let's just uh, close those a moment. So actually, it's going to tell you if you've kind of wasted your time because you can hover over and see actually, you know, there was a shortcut key already for that in there. And one personal favor I'll just sort of bring to your attention is the snapshot tool or the camera tool. Because when you click on this, I'm just going to unfilter a second. So let's just highlight a few of these products here. Click on that snapshot tool. and it sort of does like a copy and paste as a linked picture. So this is a now a linked picture back to that original uh, text there. And you can sort of resize it and make it a bit smaller and things like that. And it's great for like building dashboards and sort of almost like a window into another, another sheet or another part of the same sheet. And the great thing about it is it's actually live. So if I kind of um, you know delete that entry there, you can see that it also deletes straight on that picture. Or if I put sort of John up for Excel back in there, as soon as I hit enter, it appears in the picture. So a bit of a bonus tip there on the camera tool. It's a great thing to add to your quick access toolbar, as is anything else that is a command you can't access from the ribbon. And Finally, the fourth shortcut system, the one that gets all the traditional attention is the standard kind of everyday shortcuts, control plus this, shift plus this, alt plus this, or sometimes even combinations of the two. Now these, there are some that are really worth committing to memory and I've actually got a free giveaway, my Everyday Essentials Excel Shortcuts Cheat Sheet. So if you want that, the link's in the description. Um, I get that sent to you on an email and you can print it out or just have it on screen and use it as you see fit. Here it is essentially, you know, or the Excel version of it. But these are the kind of shortcuts that I think, you know, most people are probably familiar with, but it is an entire system and there's loads of them that are worth remembering. You know, you've got your cut, copy, paste. I would say this one here, undo. Absolutely, commitment, commit it to memory, learn it first. Control Z, doesn't matter what you do, whatever, you know, if you're learning shortcut keys, especially, you could be doing all sorts of things like deleting rows without realizing it and things if you hit the wrong keys. But Control Z, learn that one, just undo anything you want. And, and on it goes. And then next one's a high priority, I think, is this whole sort of sheet navigation stuff, you know jumping around sheets, moving around the spreadsheet, hiding and unhiding rows, changing column widths and things like that, deleting columns, deleting rows, inserting them, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, next priority for traditional shortcut keys. I'm not going to go through them now. I've got literally dozens of videos on how to use these shortcut keys and different um, compilations and things if you're interested. So click the link in the description, get your hands on this cheat sheet, um, print it out and start learning these ones as well. So those are the four shortcut systems in Excel, you know, the alt ribbon shortcuts, the right click shortcuts, quick access shortcuts, and then your traditional control shift and alt based shortcut keys. Hope you found that useful. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to save even more time in Excel. I've been John from Up for Excel. I'll see you soon.